In America today, we have something called consumer rights. It was brought into our world by John F. Kennedy, who felt that Americans had the right to do a lot of things. He felt that people had the right to be informed about products, especially with regard to medications and what sort of things happens to you if you take that. He also felt that you had the right to safety, which means that you have the right to products that aren't going to harm you. And those are two of the four principles of the consumer rights movement. He also felt that basically if you bought something and it didn't work, you had the right to return it. Now, I can continue talking to you all the time about what is and isn't consumer rights, but that's not going to help you understand what people feel about their purchases. People use their discretionary income, meaning their extra dollars, to buy things. They use their main dollars to invest in usually services or places or sometimes things. When a person purchases something, they often do some fast research. They either learn about it from their friends, or they learn about it from the internet, or they learn about it for, from consumer reports, or they check it and they cross-reference it by doing research. That is why these programs are important to us. You see, consumer rights also says we sort of have the right to privacy because that implies that only we have the right to know what we bought, but it, what it does for us is provides us safety. What it means is that someone cannot pattern after what we purchased and taint it and put it back in our things.